Hi, this is Brandon from Watches on You. Today we're taking a look at the Blanc Pond 50 Fathoms Bodyscape. And first I'd like to remind you that we're here at JB Hudson Jewelers in Minneapolis, Minnesota, uh, taking a look at this watch. This watch is available on sale, pre-owned, for a price of $8,350. And I'll be dropping a link in the description to JB Hudson's website so that you can inquire about purchasing this piece. Um, it is again available on sale pre-owned. JB Hudson has a wide selection of pre-owned watches as well as brand new watches from brands like IWC and Omega. Um, so now I'll move, be moving into this piece. So as I said, this is the Blanc Pond 50 Fathoms Bodyscape. Uh, it's named again for the original Blanc Pond 50 Fathoms, which was one of the first commercially available dive watches um, uh, that is like dedicated dive watches. And this watch is kind of a modern interpretation of that. I mean, the case is absolutely, um, it's kind of cutting edge and, and it has very sharp lines. It's, it is a very modern watch. And it also incorporates the features of a kind of um, modern, like high-end Haute Horology watch uh, that you get kind of with the Blanc Pond brand. Um, but again, it's not lacking any capability. It has a water resistance of 1,000 um, feet or 300 meters. Um, it's got a nice titanium case. It's extremely light. This is really meant to be a serious sports watch that has, again, that Haute Horology kind of movement finishing and everything like that. Um, and one interesting thing that I noted is the movement in this watch is the caliber 1315 movement. It has an incredible 120 hour power reserve, which is nearly triple that what you get in a um, in many Rolex Submariners, which have around a 48 hour power reserve. Uh, so that is absolutely kind of stunning with this piece. I really like, um, again, I like the movement and I like the price. $8,350 feels very cheap for a watch that has this level of quality. You have a beautiful ceramic uh, insert in the bezel itself. Uh, the bezel is very, very nice. The lockup is perfect. Um, the sound is a little bit more, I would say, kind of dull than a uh, Submariner that, like I have right here, uh, which has more of a loud clicking kind of sound to it. Um, and I'll just return that back to 60. So um, the bezel feels a little bit differently than a sub. It's not as smooth. It's kind of just, it's very, very clicky. Uh, so if you like that, that's that's good. Um, again, the quality is the same. It's, it's just kind of a matter of personal preference uh, between what you prefer with your bezel. Uh, again, overall, I love the looks of this watch. I think it's extremely striking. Um, that movement on the back is finished absolutely beautifully. Again, you're not getting Cote de Genève or anything like that on the movement, but it's finished It's finished in the same style that a Panerai would be finished, but um, its quality is higher than that, if that makes any sense. Um, but again, it has a 120 hour power reserve, so nearly three days. Um, it's very, very nice. Uh, again, you don't need to, you're not gonna need even a watch winder probably with this piece. Uh, again, it's automatic too. You're really never gonna run out of power. And uh, it's got a 43 millimeter case, which is a little bit large, but um, given that it's dive watch, I think that that's actually okay. I'll try it on for a wrist shot now. And uh, the 43 millimeter case size, I think it would look good on most people's wrist. I have about a 6.5 inch wrist in circumference just for comparison purposes. Um, its thickness is 13.4 millimeters, which would likely fit under pretty much any uh, dress shirt cuff. Um, and again, it's just an extremely practical watch. It's very light, it's made out of titanium. Um, so if you like this video, remember to like, subscribe, and share. And remember to check out the link in the description to JB Hudson's website. Thanks for watching.